Okay, we're back in the cave in the Forbidden City of Kitech, and if I recall, remember correctly, ooh, fire arrows, just get them out of the way, quickly. I said I'm gonna start from a different place than I finished uh, my previous length of the playthrough, <laughs> I lied, tend to do that sometimes. So, we're back in this cave, as you can actually, well, you can see it uh, sooner or later, but I went exploring on my free time and I upgraded everything of Lara Croft that she has on herself. Every pouch, every little, well, box of ammunition or whatever she carries of herself, the quiver, the guns, the bows. So I also changed my horn bow to the, as you can see, compound bow because I'm going for the look like a kind of sort of assassin style this time. Everything's going uh, 21st century. Because the horn bow is an ancient thing, and I wanted the compound bow because it's actually the bow that we have during this day and age. So yeah, Lara's still wearing her traditional, well, my traditional thing that I like, the infiltrator garb, fatigues. And with all of this out of the way, I am going to finish the game properly at this point because I, I'm at the 88%, and I think it's actually gonna be finished in an hour, maybe two hours from here. Let's see, I just get through Kitech and go kill everything that's in our way. Bears, razor bags, wild cats, deathless soldiers, trinity soldiers. Remnants are gonna double cross me at some point. I'm also gonna put an arrow in their head. I have plenty of them. Namely, 36. Should have 55. Never mind. That is irrelevant at this point. Just hope that. Uh, uh, the game won't hack that much because of all the areas I have been during this game the lost city of Kitech is definitely the most taxing on my PC and I have no idea why because it's in an underground cave so the whole area should be limited but it's the place that hacks the most which is beyond me actually because I was... oh still happens that little gl I don't even no idea why, but this part of the map, the well, the, the walls doesn't seem to want to load properly. So I can just actually see <clears throat> how the game looks done by the developers. Is this supposed to be some kind of a water reflection or something? I'm not certain. Or is this is the other side of the uh, tower. Looks kind of weird. There we go. What's down there? What is this? Is there a place that I can actually climb down there or something? I don't even know. I have no idea. Well, whatever. Don't dilly dally. Come on, Watson. The game is afoot. I don't know why I threw it in there. I just thought I just wanted to say something from Sherlock Holmes somewhere and got it now. The Lost City. Yeah, we're out. I don't know actually why it hadn't happened while I went here the first time, but in this case there's supposed to be a bear. <laughs> and it didn't load when I was recording this. I went back and forth a couple of times after that, and that bear just spawned. And it kind of looked bigger and nastier than previous bears. It wasn't just a typical brown bear. It had a hint of a white peldon. Either it was very old or very frozen. Doesn't matter though. I killed it. I got 100 experience out of that. And I was so glad. Plus a little bit of uh, pelts to upgrade my shit. Wind chimes. Okay, so at this point I, I actually did went back and forth the entire section of the city of Kitech in this place. I killed every deathless soldier. I got every relic and every document that I had, so sorry about this. I'm not even gonna show them on uh, camera this time because this is not the gist of the game. I think I've been doing this a little bit too long, just playing on my own pace, showing off stuff and etc, etc. But this is how I actually like to do it, because when I finish a game once, I don't like to return to it. So, namely when I get a new game recently, and I decided to, I want to play it for my channel. So I just plug it in, and from the get-go, I have no idea what's going to happen in this game. I just remove myself totally from everything related to this game. Uh, reviews, comments, other gameplays, everything, and I'm just going in green, totally. I have no idea what's gonna happen. 
so in tribute all I am actually enjoying this so far so far the whole the whole game I play with this aside from the fact that it hacks extremely on my PC configuration I like it very much well it hacks mainly the most when I'm recording that just wanna throw it out there because when I'm playing without recording it isn't so bad could be better so I, I actually put in, I have the uh, one of that AMD program that uh, optimizes the games for your PC's parameters and first things first I just want to give throw it out there that I uh, optimized Metal Gear Solid 5 and the game just optimized itself for my PC configures to be extra high everything was in extra high and the graphic was amazing and you could see that in my playthrough of MGS5 everything was running smoothly occasionally there were some hitches it should be told but I'm blaming this on the fact that I was recording and maybe the sessions were a little bit too long because my PC isn't uh, made for that, that long of playthrough sometimes I'm, I'm totally abusing it but still but this game, this game came out, what's the difference between uh, 3 to 4 months? That's, I mean, well, to be told in technology levels, it shouldn't be that much because the thing was in development at the same time. Because the uh, Xbox One version just got out. Oh, what is this? I actually lied, I didn't get every one of those <coughs> documents. Well, namely I didn't get this one mainly because I didn't want to go here because I was afraid that the uh, scene or something may trigger. Never mind. So, what do we have here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on after the game just decides to just load it. I've scavenged weapons and tools enough to survive. So, you were previous Lara Croft. Demanded I learned to draw a bow and fight like one of his soldiers. And I am grateful for that. Oh, so you're a 20s envoy. Made for punching holes in armor. The ice around me provides all I need to drink, but it runs red with blood. I can actually remember the because it's army now patrols a dead city. These are not the soldiers mm -hmm. who first met us at the city gates. No, I'm sorry, just, just lost a track of soldiers. They are now. I don't know who they are. I can see a man that I myself killed in the battle. You just killed one man. The old not impressed. I killed more. That those who looked upon the divine source relinquished their very souls to it attaining immortality hmm. if this is true I will surely perish here buried with the secret I was sent to find well good for you, you deserve that you work with the wrong side of the history and we're not going there. We're going up. Just seriously. And I was saying, welcome back to Aridan's Why Religion Sucks Corner. Not only because they force a lot of people to die because they for the because they didn't agree with their beliefs. Oh. I know what this is. I nearly missed that. Can I actually destroy it with an arrow? Nah, that doesn't work that much. Fuck it, I'm taking a shotgun. I would say heads up, but that thing already doesn't have a head, so... Fuck it, actually. It's gonna be fast like this, I guess. There we go! 3 out of 8 statues vandalized. And the... I, it's, I don't know if you just know shit, but... No sh <laughs> Notion. Notice, but there was my arrow hanging around in the mid air for a second after I destroyed the statue. Anything else we have in this place? Nothing. So I just get on through this. What the? I can only guess that the gate closed because I heard the noise. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, fine. Holy crap, what? Did, did Trebuchet just fire at me? Yeah, it did. Shit, incoming. Who fires a Trebuchet? Ah, uh, there we go. As I was saying, this area is shit, the death of this playthrough. No shit, Lara! Trebuchet. 
So let's just get this out of the way. That's a very good idea. Your aim sucks! By the way. Seriously? Nailed it somehow. And arrow in your face. Oh, I actually didn't do it correctly. Weird. Should have killed him. I did it again, or did I just lose? Is that my blood? Can I finish him off now? Come on, this is... No, oh, so, sorry, I wasn't talking for a second there. How tough are you? Seriously, also, why am I bloody? Got it again? So I'm gonna wait a little bit further. Well, finally! Out to your throat! That is not my arrow. Some of his own people shot him. Fuck! No, wait, forget it. I don't want his shit. I really don't need it. So somebody was shooting arrows and hit his own guy. Doesn't matter. Lara, go back to your shotgun. Shotty, 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 shotty. Um, who was sliding down somewhere? I'm seriously, I'm not... Whoa! That missed my head by an inch! Gotcha! Somehow. Uh, how do I get... Ah, I'm gonna go for here. Taking this place, this road. Never mind. I was in the middle of forming some kind of coherent thoughts uh, about five minutes ago, but right now I just forgot about it all the way because they're firing a trebuchet at me, which isn't very nice. I mean, everybody knows that the most courteous thing to do to fire at a certain person is to fire at ballista. Those guys are not civilized at all. Just because they think that the trebuchet is French, it's courteous. It's not. That thing, those things take shitload to load and definitely aren't as well good at maneuvering as ballistic. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Wish that I knew. There was a joke somewhere in there that I thought it would be funny, but I actually think I fucked it up, so sorry about that. Nothing happened. Didn't happen, just cross it out of your minds, just Fuck it. Okay, arrows, explosive arrows. Ah, fuck you. Where are you going? Never mind, why did I change direction? Doesn't give a crap. I don't give a crap. Yeah, actually, because of that thing that is just. Holy shit! Lara Croft is stronger than she does in the field of Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Beats me if I know. Fuck you, I'm taking all of you on. Just, uh, maybe not here, not here, I'm just gonna go somewhere inside. Whoa, another one. What is, I'm not, I think I'm at, yeah, jump over that, good job, Lara. Appreciate it, now fuck you. Ha <laughs> I'm inside, you can shit to me. Changing. Shotgun. I ride shotgun. Let's check how good your shield is. Whoa! Seriously? Your shield is that good? I'm rolling, I'm rolling, roll and roll and roll and roll and yeah. Okay, fine then. You wanna play rough? 
I can play rough. I still have one pellet for you. Take it. Whatever. Reloading. Or maybe not. And the game goes on. Da da d da da dun. Shit! Well, whatever. Gotcha. That shield of yours did nothing. How do you feel? Dead? Deader than usual? Badum 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 badum. Okay, we're back. The game just hacked. I'm not even certain is it being caught by the recording system because uh, the timer doesn't seem to run when the game just goes in that hacked motion. Can I get this? How the hell did you have shotgun shells? Where did you get them? Sense when I get arrows and other things that are well, kind of sort of. What's the word that I'm actually looking for? Uh, no, let, I just know the, the whole train of thought just derailed there, so yeah. When I'm getting things that are uh, supposed to be on the corpses of dead ancient soldiers, like arrows or pieces of metal and stuff, then everything is cool, but seriously, when they give me shotgun shells for some reason, I have no idea what to say about that. I mean, that so, message is actually say they did fight the Soviets or maybe the Trinity soldiers, so, but what they need that. Okay, nailed it. Let's see how if this will work. If this worked, screw physics. Stop firing at me. Okay. Once. Oh, you asshole. No, don't die. Okay, which one of you twats is firing at me? There you are. Hello, my friend. Arrow to meet ya. Gotcha. Dead. Headshot. That's why I prefer the compound mode for this one because it has much more power of firing shots. It has how many full strings? Five just twirl around each other. I'm covered in blood at this point. Whatever. Blood and sweat. Nobody makes me my own blood. Nobody. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, see, because I think I already put this on the uh, table. Before that, those places were covered with ice and something, and I couldn't go up there. Now, I have the means. And the necessity. Come on, Lara. I have a lot of people to kill. Again. Because I'm pretty much certain most of them have died natural causes or different... So one, how the hell does this work? Do they stop aging or something? And the only thing that bothers me is how the hell Jacob managed to retain his sanity. There we go. Kind of sort of top of the world. Let's go with a gun. I like my gun. This is the best gun. There are many guns like it, but this one is mine. Who's throwing shit at me? Burn, baby, burn! Okay. Did you? No, fuck you, you're annoying me. Oh, god damn it. Uh, 
whatever. Just come on, drop down already. Don't be difficult, a lady wants you to die, so you better oblige. I wanna finish him with my gun. Execution! I like that. I like that very much. Anybody else just want something to do with me? No? Great. Give me your shit. Bullets! Why would an archer have bullets is beyond me, but still. How also, how often can I go on this topic is beyond me, but still. Let's just jump up there. Oh, there you are. Whoa! Now. I'm nailing it totally, getting it better, done and done. Arrow in your throat. That has got amazing game. When comes to the shit. Any more of you? No, I can use the trebuchet now. Also, okay, <laughs> you're gonna catch me in a little bit of a lie. But I did check one thing because I was wondering about those. To break down that gate. Signal fire, spires, or whatever those things are, because I tried to shoot them with my uh, <clears throat> Greek fire arrow, and it didn't work. So I actually checked on 9, and apparently you have to use the trebuchet for that. So at this point, I like the uh, targeting thing. Is it actually accurate that there was some kind of a big plank forward that's, uh, told, that told you where the big fire thing is gonna go? Adrian, I do believe they call those big fire things boulders. Well, thank you very much, eloquent side of my brain. I appreciate it. My brain goes to some weird places sometimes. Yes, Adrian, they actually did. Sure. Also, could you just please call me Aridan for the sake of the playthrough? I cannot do that because it's not your name. Shut up and go back to the depths of my own psyche. Well, I never. Now I think we have a little bit of a <clears throat> no problems with that guy. It just appears in all the wrong situations. I do believe they call them awkward. God damn it, get out of here! Jesus. You know, sometimes it's fun to have a multiple personality disorder, but uh, mostly it's actually a pain in the ass. <laughs> I agree totally. I totally agree with that. That guy is a douche! That sophisticated inside of your brain. That's my crazy part. Wait, hold on. Why don't I see I any? I can use this to aim the trebuchet. Really? Thank you very much for giving me that insight. Now let's go back to my original personality, because we all were living in the realm of relationships. Shit! I can't believe I actually forgot that song from Persona. Four. Okay, there we go. It should work. Let's just... I like the idea that it actually can be maintained by one person. I don't think that tribuches usually work like that. And... come on... Please tell me you're gonna reach. There we go. Now! Incoming! I can do better than that, but I'm gonna do it when the next time I fire this shit. So, hit it! Bingo! Two out of five. Where's the next one? Looks like I can aim this thing. Lara, Maybe you I just. Hit that gate. No, you're being annoying the same as uh, <clears throat> my sophisticated side. Before we hit the gate, because I have no idea what's gonna happen, maybe it's gonna be a cutscene or something, which is the whole trebuchet is gonna be destroyed. I'm gonna go fire on this shit. No, maybe not. The, fir the third is one on the left. Should be nice. Should be fun. Takes me a while. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, round, 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 round. 
Not certain they actually sing that correctly. Hope I did. Never mind. Let's just get on with this. You know, I like this when I actually am full of energy and uh, creative thought and my personalities are just leaking out of themselves. Those things are fun for me. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Also, that's not my sophisticated self, that was my uh, lame reference self, I guess. Whatever. It's not just reset, there's also cooking reset, there's also... It, not, no, I went to Persona 4 territory again. <laughs> but the thing just... Immediately I just it's freaking... Like, like I just made Reese into a Barbie doll. Like, there's a GI Barbie, and we have a stay-at-home mom Barbie, and... Well, I do think, I believe, I actually heard... Um, an and I saw by chance some kind of an... <clears throat> quiz show that said what kind of Barbie was this continue. I do believe that was actually the stay at home mom Barbie. The feminist had their day then. Fire! Fire! That was Scooter also, never mind. Just tell me what do you prefer, should I actually be more conserved, more uh, into myself introverted and or should I actually just go crazy with everything, like I'm doing right now. I think I did tell some, uh, I did, did tell once in one of my playthroughs that uh, I have a personality of Deadpool. Which means that I can be serious at times, I actually prefer to show my serious side to all the people, but uh, my real side is actually I'm going crazy. Head over heels. It's getting time! La 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 la! Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ah, oh, shit, I can't reach from here. But I do see a little trebuchet a little bit to the right, so maybe I can use that one to reach the last pyre. This one reach. That's the furthest range. And well, I'm gonna hit this place again. See, so I'm gonna break it. Let me find if I can actually kill people with that. So now that that's done, let's just freaking get this over with and destroy the gate. Time to crush this party. How dare you close your door in front of a lady? Don't you think you actually hold the door in front of a lady? She's British nobility and we're not gonna have this crap standing. So, we're gonna rain fire on your parade. That's what we're gonna do. Me and Lara in this tribuchet here. We're forming an axis of raining fire on your parade. There we go. And the fire goes on. That was a weird thing to say, let's all agree to that. I don't even know why I said that. Sometimes my mind goes to weird places. Well... Bullseye! No, I was going about the fact how can Lara operate this thing on her own. This actually is very, very interesting because First thing, who's putting the boulders on the sling? That's for one. Second thing, who's uh, bur turning... <clears throat> who's uh, setting them on fire? Is this whole thing automated? How does it work? Some kind of a mechanism that drops boulders that are being taken from this mountain and sets them on fire so Lara can shoot them? You know what? No, let's not go to this video game. It has to be a little bit simplistic. Let's not dwell on this. But still. Okay, now I do remember correctly, there was, uh, yeah. That cave. Was I in that cave before? Let's see. Also, why did Lara take her shotgun out? Enemies somewhere in the vicinity? Let's check. And we're jumping. There we go. Kind of sort of nailed it. What do we have in here? Ooh, there's a bell! Forgot about those. 
Is this the last bell? Let's cut it. I don't remember how many bells they actually cut so far. Ding! I did. That was the last bell. Okay. We have this. Anything else? A bird nest next to the fireplace. That's a fire hazard actually because bird's nests are made of twigs and flammable objects. I can understand the fact that the bird wants to be warm but uh, you should be watchful that fire. So the deathless soldiers aren't dicks to birds. That's when I throw it out. They, they, they don't kill birds. So I'm quite amazed at the AI of the birds in this game. Because every single other animal or does it. I mean, I do believe they do. Run away from Lara. Squirrels, rabbits, mm, wolves attack her. The same goes for wild cats and bears. A drinking horn. But birds just sit around in one place, do nothing. Culture. This looks like it came from the west, near Kiev. Oh really? Were Vikings here? I actually don't know if Kiev used uh, drinking horns that often. Just want to check how many things do I still have to <clears throat> find in this area? Okay, survival cache one, one mural, two relics, and two challenges. Well, I'm actually in the middle. Ah, I already know those two challenges I'm doing. One involves me destroying statues, one involves me setting fire to, well, those little cony things or whatever. And I was talking about birds, that they don't do shit. I mean, you've seen plenty of times that when I was near a bird and didn't do nothing. Birds in real life don't act like that, but yeah, let's cut some corners and don't program a good AI for the birds. I mean, truth be told, the only bird that actually kind of sort of acted the way it should was that bird that I had to shoot in order to finish the quest. That's the bird that the developers got his pro AI programming good because it was running away whenever he felt I was aiming something at him. Still a bit pissed at that because I really, really, really didn't want to kill that bird. I would prefer some kind of situation when I had to just follow him around to his nest and there would be the freaking thing, the freaking message or whatever that shit. No, actually, there was a message. They had to give the message, not killing the bird. I love birds. Birds are an epitome of freedom to me because those things can, uh, well, relatively, they can swim, they can fly, and they can walk. So they are not being bound by anything. So just think of a duck. That shit can swim, that shit can fly, and that shit can freaking walk on ground. So, yeah, th th there's the case. Come, come on, Lara, catch it. Fuck. I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Oh, there's a soldier in here. Huh, where did he come from? I was kind of hoping that Lara's gonna catch the rope. Oh well. Maybe she would. Where am I? Here again? Sh shite. Well, actually, at this point, I already got the relic and everything else that matters, so let's just keep on moving. And if you want to party, just come and move your body. Whenever they say keep on moving, that song pops up to my mind. I like the rhythm of it, that upbeat thing. I like when songs are upbeat. It may not be anything special in terms of lyrics and stuff like that, but the whole beat system just gets in your head. It doesn't have a profound message that gets me like the wall or stuff like that, like the rock ballads or anything else for the matter, but... It just sticks to your head, those kind of songs. I like them very much. I mean, it's not a secret that I'm very, I'm a fan of many forms of art, and I dwell on them a little, uh, well, double in them a little bit myself. And those arts also include include dark art, so yeah, magic and stuff like that. I use pendulums and etc. This is side of a road that you didn't thought you were gonna see. <laughs> okay, that went weird all fast, a little bit. Throwing so many information about my own personality and stuff like that. It's like being in this uh, psychoanalyst office. No truth be told, I could be lying. I do this quite often. And the other thing, I can also be changing my mind. I also do this quite often because I just think about one thing, then something just pops into my head, and okay, I was wrong about that theory. I was wrong. 
I'm changing my opinions over that theory. It's like the one I was thinking about uh, the demons, because when I was at elementary, everybody said the demons are evil. You have to be good. Yeah, let's throw it in more religion stuff. That, that's great. You have to be good. You have to fear because if you don't go, the God's gonna put you in hell. You have to. <clears throat> Sorry, just uh, drop the train folder. You have to stay true to the old Ten Commandments. Don't fall into the seven deadly sins, etc., etc. God, God forbids you. From it. Then I went to college. Then I started to think for myself. I start to have those things that church hates you doing, that starts to question what they're actually showing you, what they're telling you. And I said, okay, so what the hell? I was taught that God is uh, love pure, that's what Jesus said, that's if you just ask forgiveness, he's gonna forgive you, that he prefers the sinner that repents than that of a person who is pious. And okay, fine. So uh, why the hell? Wh what's the point of that? Because that's like the harshest father ever. Break the rules. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I'm gonna murder you into the most painful way possible. I'm gonna send you to a place of brim fires. Uh, I mean, br yeah, br brimstone, uh, hell fires, etc. You're gonna suffer for all eternity. And who's gonna do it for him? Demons and Satan. Which are on the opposite side of uh, God's equation. Because first, have, if we actually believe what the church spews is, we have one side, God, love, light, pureness, everything like that for that matter. The other side is devil, evil, wickedness, lie, prince of lies, etc, etc. And so why the hell that guy would just do the bidding of God? Because basically if uh, soul gets sent to hell, and let's just say this. That could be the case when I actually just can answer my own questions. Here he comes. Stop throwing Greek fire at me. I will shoot you with my shotgun by the way, but let's go that. That was fun. Okay, there we go. Come on, can you just drop for a second? Ah, I was talking about Satan and you're interrupting me! Oh, come on, just... Gotcha. Oh, I na nailed it somehow, with my dodge. Got it. Oh, there's another one coming! So let's go back to the photo of Satan. Yeah, like I said, so. But still, that means he's actually still doing the will of God as a person that punishes you for breaking the rules of God. Oh, come on. Still eroding, goddammit. So, how the hell would he even do that? I mean, if he's supposed to be the antithesis of God. Because it, it makes no sense either way, because either he works for God and punishes you for breaking his laws, or either he rebels truly against God and he shouldn't punish you at all for breaking the rules of God, because you, then you're just executing your own freedom, which I do believe what uh, demons and Lucifer stand for. To being truly and utterly free, not confined by God's role, laws and nothing. The only thing that should confine your freedom is your own common sense. That's why you have the knowledge of good and evil which is also being uh, implemented in you by the uh, intervention of uh, was Lucifer, Satan, Demon, Samael, no, that, that snake in paradise. Just think about it. A demon tempted Eve to tempt Adam, they ate the fruit, they learned good and evil, so they have now distinction, which means that they can choose for themselves. Which means that it's their own freedom to choose whether or not you want to be good or evil. So basically you have the freedom to execute free will at this point. So why the fucking hell don't you just utilize it? Instead of the fact that God's told to you, you, you you're not gonna do this shit. But there you go, the situation, why, he, why the hell would he even put that tree uh, in there if he didn't want this to happen? So, this is the divine plan, and it's close, it's actually beyond anybody's comprehension to understand what gods want. So let's just drop it like that, this is stupid. 
I'm just gonna Use boost my weapons. Also, we're talking about Lord Croft and snowy, his daughter. I myself a steak, then I drank half a bottle of whiskey, tried to make snowshoes out of tennis rackets, and fell asleep with the cat. I was so damn happy. Sounds like a good party to me. Why wasn't I invo I invited? I've heard that story about a dozen times, and I could hear it. A dozen ma 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 making snowshoes out of rockets, that's amazing. It's, seriously. I'm, wish. I'm game for that. I wish we'd had more time. Hold on. Can I actually make one of my uh, <clears throat> outfits from the DLC? Just interested in that. We we'll have enough. Eleven. Wait. Eleven of eleven? Should I have more? Let's see. Remnant jacket. Battle worn. Blue Henley. Grey Henley. Wait, where are my DLC jackets? Expedition jacket. Huntress. Sacra Umbra. They're gone. What the hell? You know what? Fuck it. If they're not here, they're not here. 